Welcome back to the Tao Tonight Show. I'm here with Chris Mann, uh, better known as the guru of picking the, f uh, the football games on Sunday, but unbeknownst to everybody, you actually have a day job. You're a CPA yes. with the firm Mann, Yuridi, and Elson. And with the coming season, as we're in right now, the, uh, the end of the year, there are some tips you want to give us that are going to help us with the taxes. Well, I think we're down to the last week, so there's not a lot of things you can do, especially with the holidays in there. But you know, some of the things to think about, if you can itemize, if you itemize your deductions on your tax returns, meaning you file the long-form Schedule A, one of the things you may want to do is clean out the closets in the garage uh, this week and give it away to the local charities here that, that take the clothes and furniture things like that, household stuff that you know, you're, just, you're not using anymore, that type of stuff. You can get a deduction for it based on the fair market value. And the IRS has some tables in there that show kind of what stuff they, they look at what is worth. Because you know, everybody asks me, what do, you, do I value it at? Well, there's some tables in the IRS um, website that kind of tell you um, what the kind of guidelines you can use for that. Stuff. Uh, are Christmas presents deductible? <laughs> Only if you give them away. <laughs> so if I'm giving away a bunch, I can write Well, if you give them away to, the, to a qualified charity, yeah, you can write off the value of the, those gifts, yeah, for the end of the year. So that's what we got going on to the end of the year. And then at the beginning of the year, you have some other ideas that will help us. Well, a lot of times, people, I think everybody makes a bigger deal out of the tax season than it maybe is. A lot of times in January, everybody gets most of their, um, their data, their 1099s, the stuff mm -hmm. that says, and you get an envelope that says, important tax information and close. I just tell everyone, hold on to that stuff, set up a file at the beginning of the month in January, and just stick everything in that, and then just hand that over to your preparer when you go in to have your taxes done. Or if you're doing it yourself, you just go through each one of those things and put them on your tax return, because those things are very important, because all those things are going to the IRS as well. So when you get something that says, important tax information and close, that's also going to the IRS, and if it doesn't get on your return, you're going to get a notice from them later on saying, hey, how come this didn't get on your return? So it's very important, and they just tell everyone to slip this stuff in a file to give to your preparer, or when you're doing them yourself, it makes it the, the filing of your taxes so much easier. Well, what also makes sense with what you said is that keeping a file, because if you just set it aside, it could get lost with the other oh, yeah, set that's, aside. So you need a tax file. Yeah, that's what I do. I set up a tax file in early January. It's just a manila folder or something, and then just throw everything in there. Mm -hmm. That way it's all there when you're ready to do your taxes. Because most people can't do their taxes till early February anyway, because They've got to wait for all their 1099s, W-2s, the, maybe the mortgage statement from the bank, things like that. Well, I have always said, too, that uh, when you do you know, your own taxes, uh, you can do it. But it's kind of like you go out to eat. You can probably cook up your own food at home, but it's better at a restaurant because they know what they're doing, right? <laughs> Sometimes. Same thing's true <laughs> with tax preparation. You just uh, It's a better situation to go in and have a tax preparer do it than try to do it yourself. Well, a lot of people can do it themselves. I mean, if it's you file a short form and you don't have any rental properties or a business, if you're a business owner, you have rental properties or a lot of stock sales, things like that, then I would suggest you have somebody do it because there's so many things that can be done. Um, if it's a very short form and it's just a W-2, that type of thing. Usually, the, the softwares like the, the 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 software programs that they have out there are good, um, and you should be able to do it yourself online. But when you get into having a lot of deductions, it's better off yeah. to make sure you know what the deductions are. We would guess because you're only doing it once, right. and you're doing it all over and over for many people, and so therefore we know what is going on. We keep up with the laws every year. They change a little bit. You know, some years they change more than others. We don't know what's going to happen with 2014 yet, but I think we're going to get that information probably in the next couple weeks. Thanks very much, Chris. I know you're located right there on James Avenue, right there at by Tahoe Keys Boulevard. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. We'll be back on the Tahoe Tonight Show right after this.